you'll notice that the teeth are separated and the frenum actually goes up in between the central incisors. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of score the tissue between the teeth. So I've kind of drawn an image of what I want to, where I want the laser to go. All right. And now we'll simply do the, the phrenectomy part first. You doing all right? I'm just tugging on your lip a little bit. Now, if you'll notice, there's a little black mark right in the center there. Can you see that? That's where we're down to the bone. Okay. So I took it all the way down. Now I'm going to come back here, open really big, and I'm going to dehydrate a little right up along in here and take it back. Open really big again. And now I've taken it back between the teeth. See that? So now I'm going to go in and just light my setting a little bit. And I'm going to now sand the tissue around the cut, okay? Just lightly shape it. She does a great job. So, um, what, would, what would be your criteria for you know, lateral, for lateral uh, cuts? Okay, first of all, just put tension on the lip. And let's see where I, if I felt like at this point I wasn't below the keratinized tissue, I would do a little bit more and I'd just keep going laterally until I got it completely away from the keratinized tissue. So let's just say I wanted to do a little bit more here. I'd come right there and take it just a touch more away. See how that works? So now I've created a little more lateral freedom. But basically I'm at a point where I'm, I'm five to six millimeters of keratinized tissue free. Down to the bone and in between the teeth where the, that muscle attachment got really thick. So you asked me that question? Okay. All right, we're done. You are awesome. You did great. Stacy will go over instructions with mom.